It is 6.20 in the morning and here I am in Santa Barbara after getting off the overnight bus. Um, I'm on an adventure to SoCal again. Uh, well, I guess, depending on who you ask, I am in SoCal right now. But point is, just got off of the overnight bus and it's time for a doozy of an adventure. Um, ordinarily, I would be taking the train from the Santa Barbara Amtrak, but today I'm feeling very adventurous. So instead of taking the train, I'm gonna wait two hours and I'm gonna take the Ventura County Transportation Commission buses um, down to SoCal, uh, down to LA, that kind of that kind of adventure today. God, I got three hours of sleep. I'm so tired. So, because I'm opting not to take the train, I now have a little bit of time to explore Santa Barbara, something that I don't normally have when I do this, uh, do this adventure. It's been two times previously that I've taken the overnight bus. Um, I got three hours of sleep, man. Venetian canals of Santa Barbara. It's pretty. The sun isn't even up yet. There's barely anyone around except for the most crazy of dog walkers. I'm walking to the pier so I can go look at the ocean. Hey, put that away. It's December 30th. That's one thing I forgot to mention today is December 30th, 2022. One of the last few transit adventures I will be taking of the entire year. It's Pelicans. Hello, besties. So, about halfway along the pier, instead of um, going all the way to the end and looking at the ocean from there, I've decided to turn back because what I really want to do is get a ride on Santa Barbara MTD. And to do that, I'm walking about 25 minutes over to the Santa Barbara Community College to catch an MTD bus that's going to take me to the transit center where I can connect to the Ventura County Transport Commission Route 80. There's the train I was supposed to take. And fortunately for me, uh, my ticket is valid between here and Oxnard, or San Jose and Oxnard. And if I did the math correctly, my ticket should be valid on the Ventura County buses that I'm planning on taking. So instead of taking the train, I'm just going to be taking the bus for the same price that I paid for Amtrak. Another thing that I think I forgot to mention in my discombobulated, discombobulated, uh, just got off of the bus rantings. So, I'm in Santa Barbara right now, and my end goal is to visit my friend who lives in Oxnard. However, he's at work, so to kill some time, I'm planning on riding on a bunch of different transit agencies around the general, I think that's the valley area? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be a valley girl today, and my goals are to hitch a ride on Thousand Oaks Transit, Simi Valley Transit, and more Park City Transit. Those are the main goals of today. There is so much else that I'm going to do today, such as walking to Santa Barbara Community College to catch a ride on SBMTD. So yeah, those are the main goals of my video today. Um, brain no worky.
Uh-oh, is that what I think it is? Is it time for a hike? I have regrets. Okay, maybe I don't regret things as much. And after a short while, the Route 17 become four, dropped me off at the MTD Transit Center. Um, there's a transit center behind me. And I think I can actually catch an earlier bus than I imagined, so updates to follow. So essentially, the bus, the Route 80 that I want to take, has a departure at 7.30. It's currently 7.25. And originally the departure I was going to take was the 8.30 run, but because I don't really know how I'm going to kill an hour in Santa Barbara, I'm going to take the earlier departure and figure out how to kill an hour in Ventura instead, which is where this bus will take me. Also, for some reason, the bus stop is located a block away from the MTD Transit Center, even though they say they board at the MTD Transit Center. But here we are. So, I get the vibe that Amtrak tickets aren't normally used as fare for these buses because um, it took me a lot of digging to find the line on the schedule or on the website that said that Amtrak tickets are valid fare. And when I pulled up to the bus, the bus driver was like, uh, I don't know if we accept that. And he radioed a uh, dispatch and dispatch was like, yes, they are. So here we are. This bus will take me along Highway 101 down to Ventura today. stopped in Carpinteria and the annoying thing is there's no VCTC signage at this stop which is I believe it's Carpinteria, Carpinteria Avenue and Maple. Um, that's what it's listed as in the, uh, in the schedule PDF. However there's a stop on the other side that does have VCTC signage but this side does not which makes it confusing for riders trying to get on from here um, i.e. me. And also transit planning apps like Pantograph or Google Maps can't seem to agree on where the stop is and Street View sure as hell didn't help. So that's just kind of frustrating. Right is going well.
us. Um, currently my plan is to kill half an hour here in Ventura at the VTC Transit Center and then hop on the Route 77 that's going to take me to Camarillo and then spend half an hour there so I can take the Route 50 that's going to take me to Thousand Oaks today. So here at the VTC Transit Center, there's a public artwork called the Bus House. I think mean, that's cool. So now that I'm in Ventura, I got about 20 more minutes and then it's on to the 77 to Camarillo. So here I am in Camarillo. Um, may have been a mistake because if I thought Ventura had nothing, Camarillo has even less. But I'm here for another hour um, and then I can take my bus that'll take me to Thousand Oaks where I have my lunch stop plan for the day. That's why I'm looking forward to, uh, to Thousand Oaks. So here in Camarillo, uh, in-town transit is provided by an agency called CAT, the Camarillo Area Transit, and they're CAT themed. There's their yard. Um, and they do a little trolley loop departing from the train station every half hour, so maybe I'll be able to get a ride? Depends if the driver is okay with me doing a loop, but we'll see. Hmm. Do I do it? Only if they don't leave without me. So that was my ride on Camarillo Area Transit's trolley. Um, it claimed that it was free. It was not free. But it was still nice because I got to see a lot of Camarillo and it killed some time. 
So now it's just another 10, 20 minutes until my bus that's gonna take me to Thousand Oaks. So the Route 50 dropped me off here, the Oaks Mall. It's a shopping center, but you know what? It has food and I am hungry. Okay, like I'm trying to use this touchscreen thing. Jesus. And so now that my food has been obtained, it's time to switch to the Thousands Oak, Thousand Oaks Transit. That's gonna take me to the Thousand Oaks Transit Center. I'm gonna take the Route 43 today. And here I am at the Thousand Oaks Transit Center. This is where the 43 dropped me off, and this is where I'm connecting to LA Metro, excitingly. I think this is the farthest west that LA Metro extends, 
and it's the Route 161 that's going to take me all the way to Canoga Station today. Um, and here at Thousand Oaks, I actually bought a new transit card um, so that I can pay for fare instead of uh, pretending that I'm under 18. But um, yeah, bought a new transit card and excited to hop on LA Metro again. It's kind of crazy that LA Metro comes all the way out like here. This is just SoCal, not even LA, but yeah. Onwards towards Canoga. This is my lunch for today. A Nashville chicken hot plate or something like that from Urban Eats because Chipotle was closed. So I think this ride is going to be almost an hour and a half from Thousand Oaks to Canoga, which is brutal, but we do what we must. And it's in an Excelsior today. I know how to drive one of these things. I don't like driving Excelsiors. Here's my new bus pass, by the way. And it's here that I'm switching to the orange line, or the G line, whatever LA Metro wants to call it. That's going to take me to uh, Chatsworth now. So the orange line is one of two BRT systems operated by LA Metro. It uses electric Excelsiors, and it's an interesting system. Um, it's a fun ride the last time that I rode it. However, the current headways from here to Chatsworth are every 20 to 30 minutes, I think, which is pretty bad considering that this is, you know, a major city and this is, you know, we're running big boy buses here, but we're not running big boy frequencies. So now I have to wait another 20 or 30 minutes in the sort of rain for the bus that'll take me to Chatsworth.
Is it gonna do the thing? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. So, off of the G-Line, and it's always such a strange BRT to me. Um, it speed limit is like 45 miles an hour, but in reality, the buses have to slow down to 15 miles an hour for every intersection, and when they get to those intersections, they don't have priority. Like, they have to stop at the same stoplights that everyone else does, so it just kind of sucks. But anyway, here I am at Chatsworth, and I'm switching to Simi Valley Transit, which is going to take me to Moore Park. So, I'm not exactly sure where the bus to Simi Valley boards. Um, there seems to be no signage for it, so that's really fun. Um, hopefully I don't miss it, because this is a not very frequent bus. That bus is in Simi Transit colors, so I think I am in the right spot. Where are you going? is a dirty bus. Zoom zoom, off he goes. So that was the entirety of, what was that agency? Simi Valley Transit's Route 10, all the way from Chatsworth to Moore Park City College. Um, it went through Simi Valley, but it didn't stop. It just went from Chatsworth, wee, all the way to Moore Park. And here I am, waiting to transfer to Moore Park City Transit. Today I've ridden Simi Valley Transit, VCTC, a bunch of other agencies, and now I'm ticking off the last goal of my day, riding Moore Park City Transit. They run two lines, two buses, just doing laps around Moore Park all day on like some insane schedules, like once every hour and 10 minutes to once every hour and five minutes, I think. Um, they do this so that they can afford to only run two buses a day and have, I think it's four drivers the entire, uh, the entire service day. Um, so yeah, just a typical small town operation. I'll be riding that to the Moore Park Metrolink and then I'm catching a train to Oxnard. It's kind of interesting to me to notice that like, the general design of community colleges is that they're all located on hills. So this one is located on a hill. Foothill, CSM, Skyline, the three community colleges closest to where I live in the Bay are all on a hill. Um, which other ones are on a hill? Uh, Folsom Lake, the one that I visited a couple videos ago, that's also on top of a large hill. So 
It's just interesting to me that there's uh, so many commonalities between the different campuses. I also want to point out how cute it is that the Simi Valley bus, um, bus agency, they have their number as the license plate of the bus. It's adorable. Oh my god, it's so tiny. This is adorable. And after 10-ish minutes on the bouncy little El Dorado, here I am at the Moore Park Metrolink, and I'm getting on a train to Oxnard now. But except I'm not getting on it. I'm not getting on a Metrolink train. I'm getting on an Amtrak train because this specific Amtrak train is uh, following what's called Metrolink's code-sharing system, where you can use a Metrolink ticket but still ride Amtrak. And with my ride on Moore Park, that checks off all the goals I had for today. I rode all three transit agencies I had in mind. Now it's time to go to Oxnard, meet up with my friend Alex, and collapse. This Metrolink train behind me is heading off to uh, LA, which is, it's an interesting destination, um, but my train is not Metrolink. I'm riding Amtrak, and now I'm just waiting for it to arrive. And so, after eight different transit agencies, 12 buses, and God only knows how many hours of traveling, here I am in Oxnard, the end of my adventure for today. Uh, yeah, really good adventure. I always love flitting around SoCal, riding their transit. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.